Oh, hi. You're probably wondering why I have such dramatic makeup on. It's because the next video that's gonna get posted is gonna be me trying out the Life's a Drag palette on my eyes. I'm just posting this one that I'm doing right now first. So you're gonna recognize this look, you're gonna recognize this shirt, and you're gonna think that this look is way too intense for what I'm about to film. But you know what? I don't care because it looks cool. Get over it. Today I'm going to be doing the what's in my makeup travel bag video. I know this is like an old YouTube video, but at the same time though I feel like people just kind of do this when they get a chance to and people seem to like it, so I'm going to do it today. Because <laughs> I'm going on vacation tomorrow for a few days, I need to film ahead and I was like, oh that is the perfect video to film. So you're gonna hang out with me while I'm figuring out what to pack into my travel makeup bag. Now, I always bring a full face of makeup with me when I travel. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get going. Okay, so I have this box right here. This is from London Soho, New York. I think you can get this exact thing from Ulta, so if you think that this isn't too bulky for you, I mean, it definitely depends on what you're doing. This is for not a flying travel. This is like road trip or something like that. When you open it up, it has several compartments in it. It has these little areas. There's a spider. There's a spider. There's a spider. There's a spider. A spider. Oh. Crisis averted. Just had to get my husband to help me let that little guy out in nature because I wasn't touching him. So I will usually bring a full face of makeup with me um, and then maybe a couple options for lipstick, maybe even setting spray depending on the mood I'm in. I'm gonna bring two different primers. One is a moisturizing primer and one is a not moisturizing, not mattifying, it's just kind of a smoothing primer, kind of like a pore filling primer, and, and the NYX Angel Veil primer. They're just both a little different. And I am gonna bring this Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. I think it makes your skin look so pretty and naturally glowy, and that is gonna be good because I'll be going on like a date night type thing while I'm on vacation. So I want to be able to like look pretty and glowy and such. So there's that. A must have the Cody Airspun powder. Hydrated and glowy looking, it's gonna help control that oil a little bit. And I've gotta bring it. I've gotta bring the Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm also gonna bring this Maybelline Fit Me in medium. It's kind of dark, but it does help cover up spots. And then bronzer. I have been obsessing over, obsessing <laughs> over the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And I think that is what I'm gonna bring with me, but in case I'm looking for something that's not quite so matte, because I mean, that is pure matte, there's no shimmer, nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this right here. This is a little palette that we got in BoxyCharm at one point, and I thought I hated it, but honestly, if I can concentrate my brush, like a little bit here, a little bit here, and then just like touch, touch there, the combo of those things is pretty and bronzy and glowy and it, you can't see it on my skin but it gives a really pretty shimmer to the skin so i could use this more for kind of like the contour and then this to really like bronze and make my skin shiny next is blush and i think i'm gonna keep my blush pretty simple i'm gonna take this this is the tarte amazonian clay 12 hour clay blush in the shade party uh well par excuse me party it's just like a simple pretty blush that isn't too much and will be good for any look that i decide to do and i want the option to either be like super glowy or like super natural on the cheeks the drugstore duo of amazingness this essence pure nude highlighter and be my highlight if i am feeling when i'm traveling like i want to be nice and a natural like pretty just like glowy glow or the wet n wild mega glow highlighting powder in precious petals will give me more of like the BAM glow if that is more my speed while I am on my vacation. We have got to have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It's just a must. You, you, you gotta do it, you know? You just like, you gotta. And I never like to bring too much eyeshadow. I wanna bring like a palette. I usually don't want anything too crazy while I'm on vacation. I like this. I'm gonna bring a palette that's gonna give me natural options with maybe a little bit of a twist if I'm feeling a little funky. Honestly, for this vacation, I just don't see myself doing anything too crazy, so I'm gonna bring this Morphe palette. This is the Copper Spice palette, the 25A, and it just has so many good options, tons of like good transition and 
options for smoking it out and then great shimmer colors. Now that like eyeshadow is covered, like, cause honestly, I'm not gonna need anything else on my trip. I can't imagine me wanting anything. <gasps> I decided that I am going to bring this Stila Magnificent Metals in Smoldering Satin just in case I get a little spunky. I am bringing this Sephora Waterproof Eyeliner in Blonde Ambition and then this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Overboard, I think? Yeah, Overboard. So this one is like a bronzy brown, really. And then Blonde Ambition is like one of those like nude, white almost waterline colors. It's a really great color and it really opens up the eyes. Mass I'm just gonna go ahead and bring my current favorite, which is the Tarte Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. I'm gonna bring lashes in case I end up feeling like I want to use lashes, which let's get real, I won't. Okay, and depending on my mood, I told you I would bring like a bunch of different lipsticks, a few lip products, just depending on what I might be in the mood for. We're gonna start with this combo here. This is from Too Faced. This is their like peach collection lipstick in Sex on the Peach and doll face. I love doing sex on the peach all over and then doll face in the middle, kind of pat it out to give me a nice cute pout. I'm also gonna bring this e.l.f. lipstick right here, which is fantastic and it's so pretty. It's in the color T Rose and it's kind of a cool mauve pinky purple. And then I am bringing this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Monte Carlo. You know, you occasionally you kind of feel like a red. It's a pinky red, but it definitely is like it's red once you start building it up on the lips. Trapeze by ColourPop. It's their like matte luxe lip creams. This is like a beautiful red orange. And then lastly, this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Aquarius, which is the Captain Lights collab, in case I'm feeling glossy, friends. So I'm gonna bring both like a just like lasting setting spray and a dewy setting spray should I feel I need it. So this is the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Now let's quickly go over the brushes that I feel like I would need. I think I need a nice all over the crease brush for a transition. We need a nice fluffy yet narrow brush for putting something along the lower lash line. A couple crease brushes in varying sizes shader brush for the lid and of course we can't go without a nice pencil brush for either great for putting something in the inner corner or for running something along the lower lash line so i like to stuff these in these little holes like these brush holders if you put in a couple at a time it'll hold several Ooh, eyebrows i'm gonna bring just a eyebrow pencil which i'm gonna bring the mac eyebrow pencil in spiked and then just like a spoolie. Other little brushes I might bring, I'll bring this guy right here. I use it to set my under eye. And now let's talk face brushes here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring a Real Techniques blending sponge. I'm gonna bring a nice big powder brush for powder. I'm gonna bring my new favorite brush to bronze with and that is this Luxie brush, duo fiber powder brush. I'm gonna bring a Luxie blush brush. I love this brush. And I'm gonna bring this Luxie highlighter brush. Wow, I'm into Luxie right now. But I also like to use this Bogashi highlighter brush to get like concentrated highlight in a little areas and I like using this ColourPop brush right here which is like the F5 which I think is like a medium I don't remember but I like using it to set down my eye makeup the one last thing I'm gonna bring is just I have that like wonderful like bronzer brush but I'm gonna bring something that's a little more concentrated uh, I don't know just in case I need a different brush for the two bronzers Wow so that was fast and now my makeup is packed for my trip tomorrow. You are going somewhere where it's sunny, make sure you have something with an SPF in it to put into your makeup bag because you do not want to hurt your face in the sun, that's really important. But yeah, so that is what I would bring in my travel kit, enough for one full face of makeup. It's kind of insane that this like 20,000 pound box is one full face of makeup, but I don't bring anything over like exactly what I would need besides lips. Like I gave myself a pretty big option there. There you guys have it. That was what I bring in my travel makeup bag. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope it was helpful in some way for you. Please subscribe by hitting the tempting red button right down there below my video and I will see you later. Today I'm gonna to be doing the what's in my travel bag makeup. Whoa, oh man. Mm. Please subscribe by hitting the tempting red button. <laughs> really? <gasps> like what if I get spunky one day? And I'm like, you know what, I really wish I had brought a red with me. And I'm like, you stupid, why didn't you bring a red with you? <laughs>